What's going on guys? So today's video is actually going to be a collaboration with the newcomers of 2018 and the concept for this video is actually underrated gems or underrated fragrances for the fall. So my gem is actually Zegna's Forte. So I mentioned this one in plenty of videos in the past. I'm a Zegna fanboy, which a lot of you guys already know. If you never heard about this fragrance, it pretty much reminds me of Armani Code, but with honey. So you get your tonka bean, you get your woods, I think that there's some tobacco and some leather in this one. It really does remind me of Armani Code, but the only difference is the honey accord to it. So it's sweet, it's got some masculine notes to it, it's sexy, it's dark, and it's also sexy. Very versatile fragrance. Just if you want something that smells very close to code and you don't want to pay that Armani price tag, this is going to cost you $30 or less. And this stuff lasts a long time. Like I'm talking about 10 hours is what I get. The projection is quite heavy so you really do have to watch your applications. But enough about my fragrance, I want to know what you guys are rocking. I'm the Luxury Fragrance Boss and my hidden gem for this fall season is going to be one by imaginary authors called O oh Unknown. This one is an absolutely beautiful sort of gourmand like fragrance. It's sweet but it's not too sweet. I mean, this is one that's gonna keep you sort of feeling warm and comforted all throughout the sort of the cooler season. This is definitely my, one of my top recommendations at the Imaginary Authors Collection. And this one, as I said, is perfect for fall. If you like those sort of sweeter gourmandy-like fragrances, definitely check this one out because this one is an absolute beauty, uh, sorry, an absolute beauty out of their collection. Thanks Chad for inviting me onto this collaboration. My name's Nigel, I'm from the channel Two Cents Worth and I'm from the UK. The hidden gem I'm going to bring you today is Nightshade Man from the house of Jasper Conran, the UK fashion designer. I'll be honest with you, the opening of this is nothing new or special. Bergamot, grapefruit, bit of orange, a bit of alcohol. But wait and wait and be patient because around the hour mark, this is when this fragrance starts to reveal its magic. With a spicy mid, of cardamom cloves and saffron and with an amber and musk base this starts to become alluring, mysterious, spicy, masculine and sensual. At this stage this fragrance should be called irresistible or sex machine. Trust me Chad, a couple of sprays of this and you'll be fighting them off. This is a right cat magnet. Right, a quick recap. The fragrance, Nightshade Man, from the house of Jasper Conran. In the UK, this retails for about £15, which I think that's about 25 Canadian dollars. What's not to like? The longer this fragrance goes on, the better it becomes. All that's left for me to say is, thanks again, Chad, and I'll smell you later. Hey, this is James from Outlaw Frags. So what we're going to talk about today is my fall hidden gem and I am floored I absolutely it checks all the boxes for me it actually um, I find it amazing I put it on I wish I had an entire bottle and that is 18.21 by man-made I only have just a couple of mills left um, but this this to me is amazing the scent of it is warm, inviting. The tobacco in this is just absolutely wonderful. I can't get enough of this. This is a, a decadent scent in my opinion. I get, for longevity, I got 12 hours the day I wore this. And I was outside, it was cold, it was windy. Like today is not too bad. But the first day I wore this, it was some rough weather and I was outside all day and it lasted the entire day. I got whiffs of it in the wind all day long. And it was so good when I had a chance and I wanted to smell it. I stick my nose in my shirt to get a good blast of it because it is amazing. The vanilla in this, everything to me is impeccable. The tobacco, which isn't even listed as a note, is really prominent and it lasted the whole day. I am chomping at the bit to get a bottle for myself because like I said, I don't have much more and I really, really, really like this stuff. So with that being said, this is James the Outlaw Frags. I want to say thank you again to Chad for inviting me to be a part of this. And remember, there's no bad time to smell good. Well, hello everyone. I'm Josh from the Smells Like Fragrance channel. Uh, 
So good to see you, and thanks Chad so much for having me on this collaboration. The hidden gem fragrance that I would love to share with you is Kiehl's Original Musk. Uh, this is a fragrance that could easily be overlooked uh, considering Kiehl's is more of a cosmetic brand, not really known for uh, their fragrances, uh, but Kiehl's Original Musk is their signature scent and eau de toilette for men and women. Original Musk dates all the way back to 1963, but saw a bit of an update in 2004, and has a vintage feel without smelling dated. This is an authentic, clean, yet dirty musk with some bright, soapy white florals, uh, a touch of earthy patchouli, and a little bit of rich, sweet tonka bean for an overall really sexy vibe. Three words I would use to describe Kiehl's Original Musk would be vintage, soapy, and sexy. The price makes it even more desirable, coming in at a retail price of around $40. And for me, this is my favorite musk-based scent. Um, I like to wear it when I'm looking for something sort of simple, uh, clean, and easy, but with just a little bit of an edge, uh, kind of a sexy edge, uh, just to keep things interesting, uh, spice things up just a little bit. I highly recommend this fragrance if you enjoy uh, simple, clean uh, fragrances and especially the note of musk. Uh, so my hidden gem fragrance, Kiehl's Original Musk. Thanks so much for watching. My name is Wes Biko from The CEO Life Today and this is my hidden gem, Everlast 1910 Original. Everlast Cologne and on FragranceNet as it's called. This is $13 Canadian to buy for a 100 ml bottle of this. So 10 US dollars for this basically. Now you might be thinking, okay, it's a $10 bottle. I can go to Walmart, pick up a Playboy fragrance for that price. And those don't last, they don't smell that great. They're not that original. This on the other hand, totally the opposite of that. This lasts a solid 12 hours projecting a good foot. From there it turns into skin scent territory and you can still smell it on you a good two, three days later. Especially if you go a little bit heavier on this like I do. Now, how does the scent of this smell? So going for Granica, you have cinnamon listed, you have some citruses, a little bit of leather, some lavender, and a bit of Gaillac wood on there. The way that I can describe this to you guys, imagine you're at a boxing gym, you just sprayed a bunch of shaving cream all over, just freshly shaved, and you went out and started hitting a heavy bag. That is the smell of this. It has that kind of uh, slightly soapy, ozonic, uh, barbershop kind of lavendery type of scent. Very fresh, very clean, mixed with a little bit of, lev uh, little bit of leather in there. Uh, the leather that's in this is nothing like, say, a John Varvatos type of leather or an ombre leather from like Tom Ford where it's very prominent. It's just slightly blended in there. So if you're a fan of boxing, a fan of MMA, and you want a scent that's produced by Everlast, go check them out. And it's incredible. This stuff lasts a long time, 10 bucks, and it does get you compliments. It smells unique. I have yet to smell a fragrance out on the market that smells exactly like this. Hey everybody, my name is Mr. Fragrance. I have a YouTube channel called Undercover Fragrances. I talk about men's fragrance reviews, unboxing, free giveaway. So if you haven't checked my channel out, please check my channel out. It's a pretty cool channel. I think you'll enjoy it, ladies and gentlemen. First and foremost, I'd like to thank Chad from the channel Gentleman's Journey for reaching out to me for this video right here. Thanks a lot, Chad. You're a great reviewer. I enjoy your stuff. You have great content. You really have a great nose. And you have a very beautiful wife that you just married. So congratulations, man. You deserve that. Um, the fragrance I'm talking about, the hidden gem that most people don't know about is Aqua Geo Absolute. I like this one a lot. A lot of people don't like it. They say it's generic. It's kind of coiny. Just they rather have Perfumo. I understand that. I got a compliment with this fragrance when I was sick. And I went to the Verizon store to get my phone fixed. And the lady was like, before we start this conversation, I'm sorry, your phone's acting up. But you smell amazing and sexy. And what are you wearing? And I told her what it was. And that was it. I really didn't want to talk about fragrance. So I didn't really want to comment. But it's nice to get a comment even when you're sick wearing Aqua de Geo. Absolute. And the, and the notes in this fragrance are sea notes, grapefruit, lemon, pear, apple, geranium, rosemary, patchouli, labanum, tonka, bean, and amber wood. So initially when I spray this fragrance here, just, just gorgeous. It's sweet, it's fruity, it's just, it's just a combination of both of them and I just really like this fragrance. I have not got one negative comment wearing this fragrance here. It's very great. So Chad, thank you for letting me do my little hand jab on your channel and have a nice day. Hey everybody, this is Ben from the Centitar Fragrance Channel. I want to thank Chad at The Gentleman's Journey for giving me this opportunity. You're a classy gentleman. You're very kind for allowing us to, to have this opportunity and for this opportunity to express ourselves. So let's get into it, guys. I have three hidden gem fragrances that are beautiful on the money, or for the money and the budget. Most of these are $25 or so. Let's get into them, guys. This is Baldessari's Private Affair. 
Baldessari, private affair, smells like a Tom Ford oud wood on a budget. It's beautiful, dark, oud wood, it's seductive, but this one's a little bit more bright and a little bit more playful. It's definitely for the more mature or upscale man, but guys, it's beautiful. It would do a gentleman very well. I'm amazed at the smell and the quality for the price, guys. So, that's uh, Baldessari's Private Affair. Next one we have is Fin de Fendi's Absolu. Fin de Fendi is an ambery, spicy fragrance. It's beautiful. I really get your nose on it. It has amazing quality for the money. I can't say enough good about it. I really can't. And the last one I have is Zurich Rouge. A beautiful kind of red berry fragrance. Kind of like Polo Red with a cactus vibe. If you're a Spanish or a Latin guy, you're going to love it. So again, thank you, uh, Chad, for having me. Um, I'll, until next time, I'll see you guys. Hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you, Chad, for uh, inviting me to this new reviewer. Um, underrated Hidden Gem Fall Fragrance. Um, it didn't take me long to pick this out of my collection to do this. This is one of the most underrated fragrances that I could possibly think of. This was uh, created in 1979 and I've been wearing it since 1982 or about. It is Paul Sebastian Fine Cologne. And don't let that cologne fool you. The performance on this is beastly. Um, the ones who have this can testify to that. The longevity is 10, 11 plus hours and the projection is 4 plus hours on me easily and I've heard a lot of other people say the same thing. The uh, notes to this are lavender, jasmine, sage, ylang lang, rose, oak moss, amber, and musk. And the accords are aromatic, musky, yellow floral, rose, amber, woody. This is truly in my opinion, a hidden gem and extremely underrated. So, this is my pick. And if you get a chance, you can get it anywhere pretty much and it's extremely inexpensive. And uh, if you want a good performer for fall and you want to smell extremely good, this is very elegant, get this. All right, later. Thank you, Chad. Bye. What's up, YouTube? I just want to thank Chad from A Gentleman's Journey right off the bat for allowing me to be in this collaboration. I can't wait to watch what everybody else chose. So, let's get into my picks. Because I couldn't pick just one. This one is my favorite. Oud Duel EDP from Dipti. One of the most amazing spiced deep vanillas that you can get your nose on. My second choice, Penhaligans Elixir. This is a beautiful rose, eucalyptus, and spices with some cedarwood. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Not a lot of people talk about this one either. <clears throat> the next one, this had hype when I first got into my journey in fragrances, and it's Him by Hannah Marie. It's got honey, it's got spices, it's got cedarwood. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Perfect for fall. And uh, yeah, those have been my choices. If you haven't subscribed to my channel or to Chad's, go ahead and do that. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. And I'm out. First things first, thank you, Chad, so much for reaching out to me to do this collaboration. It was a bit difficult for me to break it down just to one fragrance. But after much deliberation, my hidden gem for the fall is Espresso Royale by Sebastian. This fragrance opens up with a rum note, followed up with caramel, hazelnut, and a beautiful coffee note, and it finishes off with tonga bean. This fragrance to me reminds me of uh, Spirit Juice Double Vanille by Guerlain, but take that vanilla away and add coffee as your focal point of the fragrance. This mixed with that hazelnut, don't get confused, it's not hazelnut coffee, it's two separate notes in this fragrance, and you can really tell the difference mixed with rum and also that caramel adds a slight sweetness to this with that tonka bean and vanilla this is the best gourmand fragrance i've ever smelled in my life i've owned this fragrance for about four years you can pick it up for about 85 dollars it comes in one size the 60 ml like you guys see here but i gotta be honest comfort warm cozy cuddling scent this is the stuff the best coffee gourmand i've ever got my nose on thank you so much 
Thanks so much, guys. Thanks so much, Chad, for having me here on Zillman's Journey channel with the uh, mashup, a lot of other Fraghead reviewers. Uh, my pick for this event is going to be for Fall Sleepers and Gems, Hidden Gems. No, 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 not the Ignor Ood, my bad. <laughs> Ignor number one, Intense. This is awesome, guys. Very designer-esque, but it's very high-end designer type smell. A little bit more on the mature side, you're going to get cinnamon, patchouli, vetiver, uh, some, some citrus. Um, I'm forgetting something. Um, agar wood, of course. Oud is quite common. A lot of these Inye, Etienne Inye, or Egners. Uh, lineup, and you get amber, quite a bit of amber, and some citrus notes. That's, I think, I already said citrus. Anyways, this is a very, very delicious, sensual, sexy, mature type scent. Very highly recommended for fall. Get your nose on it, guys. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next time. Peace out. Love you guys. Thanks, Chad. What's up, everybody? This is Beard and Fragrance Reviews. First of all, I want to thank my guy, Chad. Man, appreciate you for having young YouTubers on the rise on your channel. Uh, it was amazing to collab with you. You guys, I want you to know about my favorite fall. This is a fall fragrance, but at the same time, I've been wearing it all year. This is amazing. Gucci Guilty Absolute. This thing right here, oh my gosh, it's a explosion of leather, patchouli, golden wood. I uh, got some other notes in there. The opening, to be honest with you, smells like gasoline kind of it's a, it's a mature fragrance and i'm gonna be honest with you this fragrance uh is for those unique smell lovers like gas and leather and new car smell stuff like this this fragrance feeds that addiction like seriously this fragrance man wow this is a hidden gem for fall i would have to say out of all the fragrances i have man it was a tough time picking through them but had to go with this puppy here man let's just go ahead and reminisce on all the yeah. it's, it's a mature thing you wouldn't understand but I appreciate it again Chad Mabuhay I'm Wedsel from the channel Fragrance RX I'm a fourth year medical student and I'm from the beautiful city of Manila Philippines and my most underrated slash hidden gem fragrance for the fall is none other than Bogart Pour Homme by the house of Jax Bogart. Why? Because first, this fragrance is really, really cheap. In fact, I got this fragrance for only about $20. Second, this fragrance really smells good. The tobacco plus cherry vibe on this one really stands out. It really smells good. Third, this fragrance really lasts long on my skin. In fact, when I spray this fragrance here on my left hand, it really lasted for about 12 hours plus and considering that this is a cheapie man this fragrance is really a bang for the buck fourth this fragrance is really versatile in fact i can see people wearing this one on the summer winter and definitely on the fall and lastly any age group can wear this one people under 20s people under 40s can wear this one you can rock this one whatever your age is you can rock this one and, and in fact, I will wear this one today. This will be my scent of the day. So, Bogart Pour Homme by the house of Jax Bogart. My underrated slash hidden gem fragrance for the fall. Hi Chad! Thank you so much for inviting me to take part in this collaboration. I am so interested to see what other hidden gems everybody else is going to talk about today. I am Emmy from the channel Emmy Ever After, and the fragrance I would like to talk about today is from Roberto Cavalli. This is called Nero Assoluto. This to me is a unisex fragrance. It is a woody vanilla that is perfect for cold weather and date nights. Um, it has notes of citrus, orchid, vanilla, wood notes, as well as ebony, which is a really dark, deep wood note. And it's very sexy. Um, the vanilla is not too sweet, not too dry and resinous. The wood notes, like they're very savory. And the citrus and the orchid don't last too long, maybe 20 or 30 minutes, but they just brighten up the composition a little bit. I get a full eight hours out of this fragrance and I think it works better in cooler weather and like I said, for date nights. Um, it's just very deep and dark and luxurious. Um, I think this 
doesn't deserve to not be talked about. I think it really is an outstanding fragrance and I hope that other people will try it and find out how great it is. Once again, Chad, thank you so much for inviting me to participate in this collaboration. I had a lot of fun doing it. So guys, that's it. I'd like to personally thank each and every one of you guys for participating in this video. I will be doing a Christmas edition as well of just the newcomers. So if I did miss you in this video, trust me, I'm gonna try and get you on the Christmas edition. So please, everybody who's watching this video, make sure to click and check out everybody that participated in this video. Show them some love and some support. So guys, we thank you for your time. Take care and see you later.